People will often ask me, Paul, what makes you different? And in order to tell that story, I kind of got to go back to the beginning. I started cutting edge construction and design when I was 22 years old. And even as a kid, I always had a you know, real interest in design and architecture. Uh, but the musician in me drew me to the backyard because I felt like that was the, that was the area that I could be the most creative, uh, particularly in an industry where most of the projects that were being built were just these square boxes, you know, maybe the odd corner being cut off here and there. But I was like, man, I, that's an area where I can really push the envelope of design and introduce something to people that maybe they haven't seen before. I had the privilege of working with some amazing artisans throughout those years. Uh, you know, particularly in an age when artisans have been kind of pushed to the side, I was able to glean from these guys uh, some really valuable information. Not only pushing the envelope of design, but also incorporating building practices that I just felt were better. So there was one turning point this particular day where I, I had finished a project and I'm looking at it and it looks really cool. And I was working with a friend of mine who was one of those artisans I spoke about, but also the guy happened to be a war veteran. And so he had a really interesting viewpoint of the world, but in a very positive way. And I'll never forget him turning to me and saying, Paul, what you are doing here is you are creating places of rest for people in a world that's gone crazy. And a light went on in my head that has never gone out. We live in a culture that has never moved faster. With all the technological advances we have, we've never been more stressed. Now, 50 years ago, this was easy. You know, just get a cottage somewhere and go up and spend your weekends and recoup. But nowadays, obviously, time and money make that next to impossible for most people. So what I find rewarding is the ability to take the small to the large, I don't care what the space is, and be able to introduce to somebody the potential to create a place of rest that is 20 feet off the back door of your house. You never have to travel anywhere anymore, but there's a sense of being able to walk into that space, feeling separate from your environment, and breathe in and out. I want to hand people the key to create that place of rest for themselves in a world that's gone crazy.